The Health, Tobacco, Nicotine etc. and Care Scotland Bill is currently being considered by the Scottish Parliament's Health and Sport Committee and includes proposed restrictions on e-cigarettes and smoking in hospital grounds. As part of the Festival of Politics Youth Workshops on Saturday 15th August 2015, the Scottish Parliament's Outreach Services team asked young people to film their views on e-cigarettes and the proposed changes within the bill. We don't know how safe they are yet because tests, all the full tests haven't been done yet. So giving them away will stop. It could be good for people that do uh, smoke at the moment, but it can also encourage people that don't smoke already and we don't know if they're 100%. They're okay for you, it's just taking certain, the addic- like certain bits out of it, like the tar, rather than the addictiveness. So, um, no. Well, we're going to begin with underage smoking, and with if it's easy to buy e-cigarettes, then people who are underage, maybe under 18, are going to be buying cigarettes, and that's not a good thing because they're meant to be used as a solution, not an addiction. And our idea, idea we both came up with, well, mostly Aaron, but we thought e-cigarettes should be um, prescribed to people that actually needed them and then that would stop um, underage smokers using them and being able to use them whenever they like and getting addicted to something that's not even useful. And it will also help the people who haven't smoked before and they won't be able to have access to them. We're also going to talk about the tastes and the tastes they have caramel and bubble gum and this isn't good because you can get addicted to the tastes as well not just the, the harmful chemicals that can be inside them. So we think that they should just have no taste basically and that would prevent people from being addicted to them because of the taste. Um, yes, because you don't want children to be addicted. My views are that they shouldn't really be available just to the general public free, but they could maybe be on prescription for current smokers and we to get them off cigarettes but still control their habits. It shouldn't be advertised to non-smokers or the general public or kids as that might normalise the cigarettes for them and make them think it's cool and like something they can do. On the topic of these cigarettes, I don't think they should be sold to anyone under 18 and I don't think they should advertise sports teams or any programme on TV and I don't think they should be sold cheap. I think they should be sold dear. Well, it gives people, evil children, a chance to get um, to do what's in them and it could be to kill them. And if they're given away cheaply, it could mean people in the way bad environments or more people we were just talking about e-cigarettes and we're trying to figure out if they should be around at all. That's the main issue that we're examining. Um, my original argument was that I think it's better for you than your normal cigarettes. And I do agree that perhaps e-cigarettes are better option than normal cigarettes because they are, well, as far as we know, less damaging to people's health. However, they are still a product that's making you addicted to them and creating a lifelong customer to the companies that are selling them. So my argument is that like, you know, I would not forbid them. However, would I make them readily available at vending machines? <laughs> oh, I think that they, should, if they are available, they should not be available for, like there's an age limit for cigarettes. And I think there should be an age limit for e-cigarettes as well, because Again, little kids could get addicted and we don't want them. Um, no, because we spent so much time stopping cigarettes from being advertised and packaging being changed and it's like erasing it all going back to the beginning. What do you think of the bill restricting the sale of e-cigarettes to those 18 and over? I think they're probably the best because there are some retailers that allow the sale of e-cigarettes to anyone under that age. While there are still a small number of people who do question the your age, as in the Challenge 25 uh, Act. So I think they'd be best raising that and imposing a kind of Challenge 25. Um, 
What do you think of the bill asking for ID in people, for people who look under 25? It's then that will probably be the uh, best way to uh, ensure the safe sale of uh, e-cigarettes to those who look uh, younger than that age. Um, what do you think of them banning the vending machines of e-cigarettes? That will probably be best because then anyone could buy them for some matter of £5 coins. Do you think it's good that retailers will be banned from selling e-cigarettes if they fail to follow the bill's requirements? So if they can't sell it to those aged 18 or under, then through a kind of, I don't know, undercover search on their uh, methods of sale, then it would be best if they're stripped of their uh, licence from selling them. Do you agree with e-cigarettes sponsoring things? Depends what it is. It couldn't really be sponsoring, say, the Olympics. If someone smoked in the Olympics, then it wouldn't really help their uh, athletic performance. But if it was something such as event, such none, nothing uh, relating to uh, sport, then it'd probably be uh, quite useful for advertising. Okay, and um, what do you think of the no smoking in the NHS hospital grounds? So the no smoking signs with the cigarettes. There isn't really much of a point because the smoke produced from the e-cigarettes is a kind of theatrical smoke in a way. It's just a kind of water vapour and it's just a, a byproduct of inhaling the chemicals in the cigarette. So it wouldn't really be classes secondhand smoke, it would just be uh, aesthetic smoke.